when looking to get married, is it better practice to decide on an amount of mahar prior to meeting men or deciding based on the circumstances of the man? That can go one of two ways. I think it's important that women realize the type of life that they want to live. I do believe that it is very important for you to understand what you are comfortable with. For example, I have a student and she married about two years ago and she was very frank with the fact that she wanted to marry a man who not only worked in the same type of jobs that she had worked before, had a similar education, but also that he should have strong earnings because she didn't want to be in a dual income household. She didn't want to be in a household where she was also expected to contribute. If you're looking for a certain standard of living, maybe you want to maintain the standard of living that you're at, or maybe you want to maintain the standard of living that you grew up on with your father providing for you, then you need to look for men that have that type of earning power. And if you're looking for other things, then you need to be willing to say, this person has great character, great dean, they're great with me, with my family, with their family, and I'm going to adapt my life to fit their ability to earn. All of that takes a lot of introspection on your part, but in the end of the day, it goes back to you.